Hello my dear students, welcome to our channel MST Physics where physics get charged. The last video we have discussed the expression for electric field strength due to charged ring on its axis. Now today in this video we will discuss how that electric field strength is varies on the axis of the charged ring. So further here when you are supposing this is what our ring on which the charge is Q and whose radius is R and uh, along the axis at, a cent at x uh, we are finding the electric field strength. So, we got E is equals to 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught Q into x by r square plus x square whole power 3 by 2. So, now if I am taking uh, x is equals to 0, the meaning of x is equal to 0 that is at a center of the ring, at center of the ring here. So, automatically E at a center will become 0, 0 into something 0 which means we understood that electric field strength at the center of the charged ring is 0 as it moves away from the ring E start to increases E start to increases when E start to increases again my question is at what distance at what distance E to be maximum at what distance E to be maximum again for E to be maximum for E to be maximum dE by dx should be equals to 0 which means on differentiating this d by dx of we can write 1 by 4 pi epsilon otherwise q by 4 pi epsilon x by r square plus x square whole power 3 by 2 is equals to 0. Okay. By this here we can write uh, as q by 4 pi epsilon is a constant only we can write d by dx of x upon r square plus x square whole power 3 by 2 is equals to 0. This is what in the form of a d by dx of u by v. So, that we have v u dash minus u v dash by v square from the basic uh, properties of a differentiation. So, by using this by using this here or supposing this is a u and here it is a v. So, at first we have v is a r square plus x square whole power 3 by 2 into differentiation of x is what 1 minus u is the x. So, here it is f of x to the power of n is equal to what do you know n into f of x to the power of n minus 1 into f dash x which means here we can write 3 by 2 into r square plus x square whole power 3 by 2 minus 1. 3 by 2 minus 1 which gives 1 by 2 3 by 2 minus 1 into f dash x f dash x is what differentiation of r square plus x square r is a constant its differentiation is 0 x square differentiation is a 2x upon v square v square means r square plus x square whole cube this is equals to 0 got my point students so that here we can write now as it is 0 so we can write a r square plus x square whole power 3 by 2 which is equals to here this 2 2 get cancer 3 x square of r square plus x square whole to the power of 1 by 2 so by this we can write a r square plus x square by sending to this side minus half 3 by 2 minus half is a 1 so this is equals to 3 x square so which gives a from here r square is equals to 2x square this implies x is equals to r by root 2 x is equals to r by root 2 here right so means at the distance of x by root r by root 2 the e will become maximum okay so now what should be the value of e at this distance is a one more question what is the distance what is the value of e at this distance is a one more important question okay now this e will become maximum at a x is equals to r by root 2 by substituting r by root 2 value here so we will get e is equals to 1 by 4 pi epsilon into q into r by root 2 upon r square plus x square is nothing but r square by 2 whole power 3 by 2 so that here we can write uh, this is equals to 1 by 4 pi epsilon into q r 
upon root 2 into r square plus r square by 2 is a 3 r square by 2 whole power 3 by 2. So, on simplifying this, we will get a 1 by 4 pi epsilon q into r. Here it is 2 power 1 by 2, we can write 2 power 3 by 2 is nothing but a 2 power minus 3 by 2 we can write here. So, this 3 power 3 by 2 can be written as 3 root 3 into r cube. So, that here we will get uh, the maximum value of electric field strength on its axis will take place at the distance of r by root 2 is a 1 bit and uh, what should be the value of maximum is 1 upon 4 pi epsilon here 2 power 1 by 2 minus 3 by 2 is gives 2 power minus 1. So, can be written as 2 q r upon here 3 root 3 into r q. So, therefore, therefore we can write uh, the maximum value of E is 1 by 4 pi epsilon okay, into 2 q upon 3 root 3 r square. This is the expression for maximum value of electric field strength. See, in this concept there are number of models of questions are there. At first, what should be the value of E at a point P on its axis, which is at the distance of X from the charged ring. So, that value E is equals to, just now we derived 1 by 4 pi epsilon Q into X by R square plus X square whole power 3 by 2. And uh, the next question is what should be the value of E at a center for that we need to substituting the value of x is equals to 0. So, when substituting E x is equals to 0 we got just now that also we derived now at a center E is 0 only. And next uh, the, by, by this we conclude that at the center of this charge ring the E value is 0 as you are moving away from this along its axis E values increases. But it is not by means of continuously increases here why because we know basically is inversely proportional to r square. So, up to certain distance only it is increases. So, my intention is again at what distance E will become maximum that, that, that is what again derived is what a uh, x is equals to r by root 2 E becomes what maximum what is the value of maximum just now derived. These all are the probable questions based on this and again if they are asking how the variation of this electric field strength with the position graphically. So, for that I am taking here electric field on y axis and the distance is on x axis. So, when I am taking this is what charge ring and in its axis here because of this I am taking positively charged electric field is outward. So, at a center it is 0 then after it is increases according to this expression. So, it is a parabolic curve and get increases increases up to certain distance and that distance is of r by root 2 as we derived now only and then after which means beyond this distance again the value of e is start to decreases and uh, at certain distance will become 0. It is a very far, far from the charge ring and the same thing will happens at the other side of the ring. This is what I am derived at one side of the ring as it is a charged one is placed in a plane so that there should be electric field strength at this side also. So that but it, it side the direction is reversed to that side. So here at this side we will get the curve like this is increases increases and again start to decreases at what distance it will be increases r minus r by root 2. Here it is increases the negative sign indicating what that increases in that increases in opposite direction. These are the probable questions based on this. And again, one more important problem based on the same concept. If now I am placing here a negatively charged particle, negatively charged particle, then what should be the force on this? Again, does is it stably there only? R is making the oscillations along its axis are the one more question let me see now. So, because of placing this charge it will experience the force in the electric field E this electric field is radially outward. So, we know the force acting on a charge particle placed in the electric field is Q into E we have discussed in the previous videos right. So, now the force on this will become as E is 1 by 4 pi epsilon into q into small q into x upon r square plus x square whole power 3 by 2. 
is the force on this charged particle and the important thing as this is a negatively charged particle we know one thing that negatively charged particle is experiencing the force opposite to the direction of electric field so that only it moves in the forward direction when it moves in the forward direction as it comes towards the center so for a moment when it coming to the center it experiencing the zero force and immediately comes to the other side and when it comes to the other side the force on this is start to decreases decreases at certain point again come back means it will be making the oscillations here but it will making the oscillations so that here the time period t is equals to we have 2 pi under root of m by k let this is a, a charge particle of a mass m and charge q so when you are comparing this equation with a f is equals to k x excuse me f is equals to k into x where k is equals to 1 by 4 pi epsilon q into q by r square plus x square whole power 3 by 2 okay so by using this now we can write the time period as t is equals to 2 pi under root of 4 pi epsilon into r square plus x square whole power 3 by 2 into m upon q into q is the expression for time period of this negatively charged particle when it is placed on the axis of a charged ring. So, now the same question if they are asking by considering a x is very much less than r means this negatively charged particle is placed very nearer to the surface of the charged uh, on the, and the axis of the charged ring in such cases when this f is very much less than r then this f will become 1 by 4 pi epsilon into q into q into x so this x is negligible so r square power 3 by 2 will become r q means with this force this negatively charged particle moving towards this uh, center of the ring and will making the oscillation so that again we can write the time period here t is equals to again 2 pi under root of m by k only now what is the k here k is 1 by 4 pi epsilon q into q by r cube so that here we can write 4 pi epsilon r cube into m upon q into q is the expression for time period when x is very much less than r in general case this is the time period are the two important and uh, important models based on the same charged ring here now my one more point sir if we are placing the positive charge then sir then does it make the oscillations is the one more question please so here when i am placing the positive charge so that is a, a positively charged particle electric field is towards rightward for me so we know that positive charged particle is experiencing the force in the direction of electric field so that it never be coming towards the center of the ring so it won't make the oscillation means these expressions are suitable when the charged ring is of positive one and if you are placing a negatively charged one only Thank you students, thank you for watching. If you like my videos, do like, share, comment and subscribe our channel to get more videos.